Today, we're going to talk about three undermanned career fields in the Air National Guard. Jobs that we're trying to put people into that maybe you didn't think about. I'm Andre Acosta. I'm a technical sergeant in the Air Force and a recruiter for the California Air National Guard. If you got any questions specific to the California Air National Guard, feel free to send me a text or give me a call direct. My work cell is 805-415-7269. I've been in the Air Force 18 years, and at this point, I just want to give back, talk casually with you all and kind of highlight some some different things that maybe you didn't think about, give you the best information to make the decisions that you want to make when considering different Air Force options. I do want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Airman Vision, as always, for providing this forum so we can kind of talk about the different opportunities. So let's get started with the first one. This job is called Pavements and Construction. The AFSC is 3E2X1 and their nickname is called Dirt Boys. If you're looking to build a career in the construction world, this is a great way to get experience. I mean, you're getting the Air Force to, to pay you. In this job, you'll learn how to pour concrete, build roads, do vertical construction. Some of that might include building runways. You get to play with some heavy equipment, which is super fun. A lot of cool perks. They do have a phenomenal team here at our base in Southern California in the Civil Engineering Squadron. So, you know, you might bring different skill sets together in within that team so you all get to do a little bit of what other people might do which could include carpentry you know electricity plumbing things like that all the different facets of, of construction the second job we want to talk about is within aircraft maintenance crew chiefs afsc is 2a5x1 so this is essentially an aircraft mechanic now if you've ever wanted to become a mechanic or maybe you're hands-on you like to work on cars you like changing the oil on on your car or your truck and you thought, let me let me see what can I do that's a little bit more specialized, but also far more lucrative, right? A bigger paycheck for those skill sets. Where aircraft mechanic might be might be your calling. The Air Force again is another great way to essentially pay for you to get all these skills. Because normally, if you went to a trade school, you got to pay to be there, right? Within the Air Force, they're paying you to learn these skill sets. Also, we're gonna help you get your licensing in this career field. It's A and P license. You know, once you build up some experience, help you get that license. This job entails doing general maintenance on the aircraft, repairing issues, doing before and after flight inspections and directing specialists to fix the aircraft as needed. Number one, when it comes to aircraft maintenance is safety, right? So this is a critical job that does require attention to detail, but lucrative, fun, and highly rewarding. You know, when I talk to crew chiefs, I think one of the best parts of their job is getting to see the aircraft take off after you've done repairs. You're like, I did that today, man. That's gotta be super gratifying. You know, you can, if you're the seasoned aircraft mechanic, that is, get your name on the aircraft. Again, once you're seasoned, you can be a flying crew chief. So that means you'll fly on the aircraft, right? Provided it's an aircraft that can take multiple passengers, like a C-130, which is a cargo plane, which is what we have and you get to fly around and travel with that aircraft. So should they need repairs wherever they go, you know, you'll be there and available. But again, you get to see the world and get some very valuable skills, highly marketable skills with it. And the third and last job we're gonna talk about is within the logistics readiness squadron. So in the logistics career field, it's called air transportation. The Air Force specialty code for that is 2T2X1, and their nickname is Port Dogs. You know, I talked to one of my buddies who, who does this job, and he said, it's like Amazon logistics times 10. So essentially, you get to load the aircraft, and through that, you'll get to learn what the Air Force does, and let to learn airfield operations. Like, have you ever thought about that? Like, what does the Air Force do? You know it involves planes, but why are they flying here? Why are they flying there? What does it, what are the details, the peculiarities, like where do they refuel? Why are they loading this cargo? What does that all support, right? You get to understand that and be within that team. He's been able to do presidential support, load ships and tanks into aircraft, even loaded a Navy SEAL boat, personnel, helicopters, even put a plane inside a plane, basically anything and everything he's been able to put in there. Also, we do have a program called HOP. Military members can hop on the plane and travel, save some money, because they're very super expensive, right? And much like working for Delta, if you, you know you work for Delta or any of the airlines, they let you travel for free. So this is similar to that. Now, all three of these jobs are on the bonus list here at the at our base in Southern California so you know some pretty cool incentive there not only could you you get some you know some work experience get the all the things I talked about previously but you you do gonna get a, a bonus at least $10,000 bonus to join these career fields 
Talk to your local Air National Guard recruiter for, for details. You can also reference our website, goang.com. That's goang.com to find out where the closest base is to you. If you have any questions specific to the California Air National Guard, feel free to reach me direct on my work cell. You can text or call. My phone number is 805-415-7269. Thanks and see you next time.